We are here at COP27 to launch the Asia Pacific Water Resilience Initiative. Asia Pacific is the most disaster impacted region in the world, which also has the least per capita availability of water. So far, the policymakers and climate actors have been setting the agenda. Though most impacts of climate change is felt through water, now it's time to shift that onto the actors on the ground, the water managers and service providers, and equip them with financing that they need and build their capacity rapidly so they're able to implement it. And the initiative is just about that. We're here at COP27, where we're launching ADB's Just Transition support platform, a multi-sector technical assistance platform to support our member countries to strategically plan, finance, and implement a just transition. We know we need to rapidly transition to net zero and resilient economies and societies in Asia and the Pacific. But we need to do this in a way that is fair, inclusive and equitable so that the benefits are shared and no one is left behind while also maximising the gender, social and economic outcomes. So we're here in Egypt at COP27 and much of the discussion is on the need for additional climate finance, concessional grant and other resources to help countries adapt to climate change. The question is, does ADB need to do that? And the answer is obviously yes. We can't achieve sustainable development without changing the way we do business in sectors to increase resilience to climate impacts, both of what we're financing, the infrastructure or whatever, but also of the communities that are served by that infrastructure. So we have a mandate to actually increase resilience and much of the additional finance under the going from 80 billion to 100 billion is actually for adaptation. We're here at COP27 in Sharm El Sheikh to talk about climate, but it's more than talking about climate, it's about action. What are we doing since COP26? It requires governments to come together, our developing member countries, as well as private sector. Private sector, we know, is able to provide the capital, the solutions, and partnerships. It's about partnerships in this COP and how we can work together to solve solutions, provide solutions to the issues at bay. 